Want your email to look professional and attractive? We're going to show you how to design your email in MailChimp. Rod here. Welcome to Burn to Learn. Once in the platform, on the menu bar, click on Templates. Now in this new window, click on the Create a Template button. Then you'll see this new screen showing you three options, Layouts, Themes, and Code Your Own. For now, we're going to focus on layouts. Click there, and a list of pre-designed layouts will be displayed. Hover your cursor over a specific layout, and a magnifying glass icon will appear in the corner. If you click on it, it will show you a preview of the layout in two modes, desktop and mobile. Go back and select a layout. Often, it's best to keep things simple. So, we'll choose the basic layout. Once you do, you'll see this page. On the right side, under Content, it gives you various sections that you can drag and drop on your email preview here on the left to spice it up. Now, if you want to edit any section of your email, just click on that section. When you do, a black bar will appear giving you four options. These little dots allow you to change the location of the section. The pencil icon lets you edit the current section. You can also copy and paste the section clicking here. And finally, the trash can icon allows you to delete the section. Let's see a practical example. In this sample mail at the top, I'm going to leave this section just as it is since usually there's no need to change it. As a following step, let's click on the pencil icon to modify the content. At the right side, under the content section, you can upload an image. This is where you usually put your logo. Click on Replace and a new window will open. Then on the right corner, click on Upload and a menu will let you choose an image from your computer. Now, let's go back to modify the body section. Click on the pencil icon, and at the right side, in the text editor, type in your content, or if you already have something previously written out, just copy and paste it. Here you can choose different styles for your content. In this case, I'm going to select the title and change the font size and color preferably to one that matches with the color of my image, like this. In the social media section, click on the edit icon, and it will let you add your own social media channels. You can even include a link to your website. Finally, in the last section, you can modify the email address that will appear at the end of your email. By default, MailChimp adds the contact information you set up in the beginning of your campaign. Once you're happy with your design, you can try it out. Go to the corner, Preview and Test, click on Send a Test Email, and add an email address where you want to receive the test email. In the next video, we're going to send a test and show you how to design your email, but now using a template or theme. Was this video helpful? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Also, join the Inner Circle, our technical skills learning accelerator.